Welcome to this address video tutorial. In this video you will learn how to enable the automatic calculation of aggregates, which is supported since address version 3.1. Start the engineering tool and ensure that you are using address version 3.1 or higher. Please navigate to server, my server, history archives, right click on history archives and select add archive group. An archive group is needed to store historical values. For each archive group, own database files will be created. In a group of the type data, all value changes will be logged in the database. As the calculation of aggregates is based on raw values, please choose data and select a name. Repeat the last step and create one group of the type aggregate. This group will be used by AdWise to store the aggregated values. In the next step, you can create an aggregate template. Right click on aggregate templates and select add aggregate template. Choose a name and confirm the dialog with OK. You can add multiple aggregate functions to one aggregate template. Please make a right click on your aggregate template and select Add Aggregate Function. In this dialog you can choose a name. The interval of 5 minutes already fits for our example. Please choose the aggregate function Average and select your archive group that you have created before. Excellent! You successfully created your first aggregate template. To apply the aggregate template to a data point, you can choose an existing data point from your project as we do here, add a new one. Right click on the folder object and select add node, data variable, int32. Choose a name and confirm with OK. Now you can make a right click on this data point and choose historize. In this dialog you can choose the raw archive. This means the archive group where all value changes are stored as well as the aggregate template. Great! You configured successfully the aggregate calculation for a data point. From here on, all value changes will be stored in your raw archive. Every 5 minutes the average value will be calculated and locked as well. The calculated values will be displayed in the browser in the history list. Navigate to the history list and specify start time. Choose aggregate as the type. In the address field you can select your data point and to the right of the field aggregate the used interval. Click on filter and the calculated values will be shown in the list.